Hmm, opening hand. Card Trooper, Silver's Cry, Fiendish Chain, Silent. Up going against Medulci's. Medulci Magdalene. Oh, I haven't gone against Medulci's in forever. I've been playing too much Hearthstone lately. Angeli. It's something about Angeli and using Hoot Cake to banish her and then bringing out Leviathan or Dragon to special summon her back. And then use their effect again. Hmm, something like that. Plus staple trap cards. So let's see if Card Trooper. Why did I put Card Trooper in here? Card Trooper isn't efficient for milling cards. So this deck, I only want two cards in the grave. And that's Lab Dragon and Level Eater. Looks like I got the Level Eater at least. Alright, now all I need to get is a Lab Dragon in the grave. Lab Dragon's a little bit easier to get in the grave than Level Eater, at least. Although, Madolchis are pretty good, so... I don't really see myself lasting too long. Ugh, because they're gonna make some crazy-ass plays. Alright, so if I set Fiendish Chain... Call the Haunted isn't really a good chain unless... I had Car Trooper in the grave. Car Trooper getting banished sucks. Monkey balls. Okie dokes. Hmm, call the haunted Fiendish Chain. He's going to... Shit, did I seriously put Fiendish Chain down first? Oh, damn it. That sucks. This is pretty much a loss. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Stop Car Trooper. First turn. And he's playing with Dolce's. Hmm, maybe. The thing is, when you're putting down your cards, you don't want to put down the card you don't want killed first. Because, thanks to the rules of psychology, people will assume that you're putting the card you want out on the field first because they're like, ooh, this is the card I really don't want killed. No, you don't even think. It's just, this is the card I want to use the most, so I'm going to put it down first do it unconsciously without thinking but most good players will not put it down first and in fact will put it down last that way people will think well I put this card down last which means it's probably not my best card I have to place down in the first place and uh, yeah so if you're going against someone and you're going to blind MST always choose the last card they put down because uh, unless you know they're a newer player then always hit the first card they put down. Because if they're an advanced player and playing for a long time, they'll know the rules of Fiendish Chain. Well, I mean, of setting cards I don't want killed. Hmm, Call the Haunted. Wait, did you seriously go into a silent Arc Honor Knight? Where go? What happened to all the Hoot Cake Leviathan Dragon shenanigans? That's fine, I don't have anything for Call the Haunted. What I need to do is get Lab Dragon in the grave as soon as humanly possible. Because I have uh, four ways to use them. <laughs> I can bring out four synchro monsters if I just get a Lab Dragon in the grave. Four synchros. That's crazy. Well, I drew to a Lab Dragon. Um. That's almost just as good, I guess. Level Eater, because I can just call the Haunted Level Eater, I guess, I don't know. And then let's normal summon out the Lab Dragon. Wait to, hmm. Since you waited that long, I can assume he either has a Solemn Warning, or a Maxi, or an Avect Villar. One of those three cards. Or even, uh, a Compulse. Yeah, that's right. Level Eater to the Lab Dragon. I can use Lab Dragon four times this turn. First one from the normal summon. And now he's gonna go into, I can go into a level six. The only way he can stop me is basically if he stops special summons altogether. So let's go into this guy. That way I can steal his Silent Arc Honors Knight. 
with my underground our uh, Archinid Archinid something like that oh so you get a book of the moon dang he has lots of ways to stop me actually now that I think about it lab dragon let's go into another level eater Ooh, I'm really taking fur with this turning die okay let's go into another one of these guys Arcanic. I really want to steal his guy. And then I'll go for a... That one guy. I don't remember his name. What else do I have? Let's go into a Silent Doom. Lab Dragon. Bring him out. Activate Level Leader. Choose Lab Dragon. Put him down. Maybe a Vulcan to Divine to send this card back to my hand. Vulcan to Divine. Uh, let's choose Call the Haunted and this guy. Medulce's Chicket. Oh, I actually forgot about this card. When a Medulce card is returned from your side of the field or graveyard to your hand or main deck, you can add one Medulce card from your deck to your hand. If you control face up fairy type medulci monster, you can special summon that monster from your deck and Hmm, what else do I have? Do I have any other level good level six cards? This card single summon this turn, it cannot be destroyed by our card effects. Also, you take no damage. Uh yeah, let's go for that one too. Just in case he has a mirror force. If he doesn't, then I could probably no, I won't win in this turn. But I can still do a lot of damage, unless he has another D-Prison. If he has just a D-Prison, that's fine. Actually, not really. He can still beat me in one turn. Medulchies are crazy fast, and I have that uh, level 4 guy who technically doesn't target- Ooh, I can go into a Star Eater. I didn't even think of that. Huh. I knew there was a reason I put him in there. Alright. Now, well, I can go into that guy and possibly 24-24. Oh, I don't have enough time to actually do the math. Level Eater. Battle. Go with the Level Eater first. What does he have? He has something with its way in the battle phase. The amount of cards it could be though is pretty substantial. It's not a mirror force or else he would have used it right away. So let's attack with this guy. Low to high and this guy. The powered Insectron. Okie dokes. Alright, and let's end turn. Alright, pretty good power play. If I just did 500 points of more damage, I could have won, so... Vulcan the Divine. Hmm. Dark Hole. That's why you don't overextend like that, unless you know you're about to win or have some way to stop it. Because of cards like Dark Hole. That's fine. I wasn't really expecting to survive that last turn anyway. Because Medulchis can wreck your face in one turn pretty easily. So we've got Medulchie Mewfully. So he's got the three level three, so he can go into the Leviathan Dragon now. Hmm. Damn, I really shouldn't have pushed it back like that. Well, let's see. Only when this card's Synchro Summoned. I can at least call the Haunted one of them. But I'd rather just leave it for... What I really need to do is add in some rank 6 XYZ monsters. That would have been awesome. A Photon Bronze Striker, actually, he still would have been killed by that Dark Hall. Medulce, okay, so. Hoot Cake brought out this guy. Uh huh. That's gonna go into Leviathan Dragon now after he activates his field spell card. 
Maybe. Possibly. Yep. The Leviathan Sea Dragon. Uses the fact to add jelly back to your hand. Uh, no thanks. This card in possession is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard. You can shuffle this card to your deck. You can tribute this card to special summon on one Medulci monster from your deck. You cannot be destroyed by all. Also, shuffle it during to your deck during your next end phase. You can only use the effect of Medulci and Jelly once per turn. Oh, so you can't spam it. Alright, this card is the one I was dreading. Ugh. Doesn't it activate Ticket? No, he forgot to use his Field Spell card. Yeah, because the stupid thing doesn't target. Uh, does not target. None of these actually help, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. He's just going to return both of them to my deck. Ugh, I overextended like crazy. Hmm. Not much I could have done though. Wendelshi Ticket, or any of these fairy type, that one is, so he gets to get into a special summon. 22, 18, that's 4,000. All you need is 1,900 points more damage, and you got it. So you got 1,000. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. Oh, that's game right there. Alright. Hmm, I need to add in some rank sixes. Hmm. What is that? Uh, 546, a 51 card deck? Well, it's not a 60 card deck. 61 card deck, I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's set. Hmm. He has two names. His first one says Pio Coco. And his second one is Cheap Cheap Cheap. So does Piyoko Koko mean Cheap 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 in Japanese? No, it doesn't. From my Japanese 101 class, I can tell you for a fact that I don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Armageddon Knight, this is actually not half bad hand. Although I only have one way to get out Lab Dragon from the grave. So I can only go into one. Maybe two synchros? Hmm, he sat one card. How foreboding. Special summon a monster? <laughs> I think he did that by accident. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Armageddon Knight, activate Armageddon Knight's effect, send level eater to the grave. Let's see, I can go to a level 7 for. meh. I don't know what I'm talking about. Special summon. Ooh, all these cards are good. Star Eater is good. So all of those for a Star Eater. Totally worth it. A hero emerges. Okay, so he's playing a hero deck. You like to replay battle? Uh, yeah. Yeah, son. I could have gone for another synchro with Silent Doom. Oh, wait, I have a Lap Dragon in my hand, too, don't I? But, I mean, the guy obviously made a mistake, so I didn't want to rain on his parade by bringing a whole bunch of monsters. Like, only run out one more, so it wouldn't really matter. Get ready to bring on the pain. Yeah, call the haunted. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. That's just a waste of time. I don't actually get any benefit out of that, so. Whatevs, I did it. It's done. No need to dwell on the past. <coughs> Whoa, I don't know why that hurt my throat. Alright, ring on the pain, Maximus. Hmm. Another level E. This card can't be tributed, right? This card can't be tributed except for a tribute summon. So I can bring out. Hmm. Let's see if that works. Level Eater into Star Eater. Bring out Level Eater. Normal summon with this guy. And then bring out Level Eater again. Tar
target lab dragon defense position and then special summon out oh I don't know the powered insector because he's pretty cool he can't be destroyed by battle this turn and then <coughs> I could go for another one but I'm not going to okie dokes so let's just go with the powered insector come yes thank you ouch ooh this guy is one of those people I had this guy like that I went to locals oh when was this a couple months ago and he had a really bad deck and he had a couple banned cards in there too and there was only like two of the people who showed up so we didn't actually do anything I was kind of disappointed because it was at a locals near where like all my friends live so I thought that would be cool okay this is game right here lab dragon but anyway this guy was kind of like that he like made sound effects for everything and he got really into the game he was enjoying himself but he was a little off he, yeah he was weird but I thought it was funny so I dueled him a couple times even though I actually he beat me once I was playing out a new deck so I wasn't really being all that competitive lab dragon <laughs> Go for one more level leader. Oh wait, I have game already. Right? Yeah, there's no need to do that. Just attack that. Attack the Star Eater. And this guy. Alright, and that's game. <coughs> but, anyway, I need to go get some water because I don't know what the hell I did to my throat. <laughs> 